New AI tools have taken the Internet by storm. Experts have long warned that generative AI could further limit our ability to distinguish between what's real and fake online. Now, these scary predictions have become our unsettling reality. So, how can AI amplify misinformation and what can we do to protect ourselves? Who's in charge here? It seems like artificial intelligence systems can do almost everything these days. They can write academic essays, impersonate news anchors or even outperform Drake. Michael Osborne is a professor of machine learning from the University of Oxford and he says their impact will only grow. There are many AI tools today that we expect to have impact. Um, most prominently are these large language models, including OpenAI's ChatGPT. ChatGPT generates text based on a prompt within seconds and is available to anyone with internet access. A second new technology Osborne points to are text-to-image AIs. These are the models like OpenAI's DALI 2 that are able to produce images in response to text inputs and of course are already having impact on uh, artistic occupations, design occupations and the full consequences are yet to be fully grappled with. This just did. Recently, an AI-generated political ad was released in the United States. The video was published by the Republican National Committee. It shows a fake dystopian future of a second term of US President Joe Biden, all generated by AI. Well, I think AI really does have problems when it comes to mis- and disinformation. Firstly, it's difficult to ensure that these models, large language models, only provide factual answers. They're very prone to what's known as hallucination. Artificial hallucination is when said tools come up with plausible but wrong answers. Brian Hood, mayor of Hepburn Shire Council near Melbourne, Australia, is threatening to sue OpenAI for defamation after ChatGPT falsely named him as a guilty party in a bribery scandal. Scary, right? Perhaps even more alarming is the potential use case of large language models in providing disinformation, that is, messages that are deliberately intended to be misleading. And here I worry that large language models might enable propaganda at scale and in a way that's tailored that we've never seen before. Here's a little taste of that. The news agency Reuters tested the Chinese AI chatbot Ernie and found that the chatbot was reluctant to answer questions about Chinese President Xi Jinping or about more recent events in China's history. It's unclear whether this was intentional or a programming flaw, but it shows just how easily AI can amplify misinformation. So, where does that leave us? Should we just give up? Well, no. The first thing I'll say is that it shouldn't be down to individuals to safeguard themselves against harms that are being delivered by some of the largest, most powerful actors on the global stage in the form of these tech companies. The rapid development of AI could also help combat misinformation. OpenAI recently launched a classifier tool that can distinguish between texts written by AI and by humans. The software was trained with a variety of machine-generated and human-generated texts but the tool's accuracy is only 26% and it's limited to long English texts. OpenAI themselves said that right now it can only be used as a complement to other methods to check the source of a piece or text. Another approach is to contaminate training data, which means to actively add special data to a training set. Only a small amount of such data can change the output of an AI system. The human eye couldn't see it, but a machine can trace it. This model has been tested with image-generating AIs, but it's unclear if it can work with large language models. Approaches like these can be helpful, but they have weaknesses. And as AI models develop, they quickly become obsolete. Michael Osborne believes AI disinformation can only be successfully targeted by a collaborative approach. Well, I'd say the solutions to AI can't be technological alone. They, they need to be human. We need to address the human incentives producing these models in the first place. For now, it seems that we should expect an increase in both the quality and quantity of misinformation. So be aware and don't trust everything you read on ChatGPT or any other generative AI model for that matter. 
And who knows, maybe in the future, AI, though clearly dangerous, will also prove crucial in our fight against misinformation. <laughs>